Hello everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. And I want to share a really fun fold with you today. I don't know the name of it. I just had a card that I got in a swap from, I don't know, a few years ago that I pulled out today and thought, oh, I'm going to try that fold. Um, as you know, well, you may not know. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I have a grandbaby due this day, this week. Um, so I was making baby cards. And this fun fold, I, I just wanted to share it with you. Sorry I'm late. There was a snowstorm, and then my daughter got home from school early, and we were hanging out. And, but he, and then my husband and a buddy were in my shop chatting, and I couldn't do my video. So they finally... Um, skedaddled out of here and here I am doing my video but it's almost six o'clock in the evening anyways I just love this fold and I think that you will too it is created with the card is created using the happier than happy stamp set and the matching dies happy forest dies super cute set I also cut this um, background piece here. I absolutely love this new die set. It's an online exclusive, so it's not going to be in any catalogs. You can see it online. Um, you can order it online. You can order it through me, but it is a fabulous set, and it is called the Radiating Stitches Dies. It's currently not available, but it's coming back soon, um, and I just love it. I should have checked the date for when it's coming available again, but I'll post that on my blog. Scrap happens here with Darla.com. I'll look it up and post it. Anyway, great die set. Can't wait to use it some more. This piece and this piece is cut with the um, deckled rectangles, and I use the fourth, fourth largest die. To cut that I so I cut the one for the inside and one for the outside you could also just cut a two and three quarters by four inch rectangle um, and just you know make it smooth edges if you want to do it that way let's see how I started was and I wanted to show you how easy this is I cut a four and let's see you're going to want to start with a four and a quarter by eight piece of cardstock and you're going to score it at five and a half. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to cut two at one time. So the first thing, the first thing I did, um, was I cut it to eight and a half by eight. And then I scored it at five and a half. And then I just had to cut it one more time at four and a quarter. And I got two pieces. I like it when I can figure out how to do things simple. For a long time when I was cutting card bases, I would cut them, you know, and then I would score them. So it's, I was scoring two instead of scoring them and then cutting them and having two cards ready at the same time. I also did that for this part of the card. This is the Evening Evergreen. And you can see here, I cut, I scored it. This is at eight and a half by 11. I scored it at four and a quarter, and then I cut it into three inch strips. So you can get three cards out of one, one piece of cardstock. And then last, I just, cut a piece of designer paper. You don't have to do this. You could just stamp, stamp images on here. And I um, put it on the flap. So this is four and a quarter by eight. Oh, and I want to show you, I also used the, oh, where are they? The basic borders dies to cut these pointed tips. I used this one, but there's lots of options and there's other options for um, borders as well in our catalog or online. Anyway, super cute card. I stamped the bear in 
soft suede. I stamped the tree in um, crumb cake. <laughs> and the mushrooms in the sentiment are stamped in Calypso coral. And the butterflies I just cut, um, stamped in crushed curry. And then I used my marker to draw the black lines. And then I used my blending pins with a little ever, evening evergreen and a little pool party to kind of make the sky and a green crown. Super cute card, easy fold. This fits perfectly in through this space. I'll show you. See how perfect that is? Just came together, together so quickly and so cute. I hope you'll give it a try. I'll put the dimensions on my blog, Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. And um, I'll have more to show you with next week. So stop by next Tuesday and I'll have another Tuesday's Tip video for you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great evening and I'll see you again next week. Bye.